Harold D'Souza tells his friend and colleague, Catherine Chan, about his journey from experiencing labor trafficking to becoming a leading activist in the nationwide effort to address the problem. Harold has served the White House on the United States Advisory Council on Human Trafficking and is founder and president of Eyes Open International, a nonprofit group focused on combating human trafficking through empowerment. I am an immigrant from India and I am a survivor of human labor trafficking and debt bondage, which happened in Cincinnati. But today I am a free man. I always tell that survivors are poor starters, but strong finishers. When you were younger, did you ever imagine advising presidents, governors, others on how to improve life for communities that are very underserved? It's a blessing that in the year 2015, December 16th, President Barack Obama announced my name on the United States Advisory Council on Human Trafficking. And there were 11 survivors who were appointed. I was so deeply touched. Everyone respected us so much that they never looked at us as survivors. They looked at us as experts. And that totally transformed my life. When I was a child, I was a failure. I failed in all the subjects. It was my dad. He always believed in me. And whenever I come to the White House, I have my dad's photograph. Hmm. I carry it all the time. So Harold, your father was a big influence in your life. And you are a father. How is your family responding to the work that you're doing now? I have two boys. Bradley is 25 years old and Rohan is 22 years old. They're so grounded. But we don't talk much about what happened in our life. My younger son was slapped in front of my own eyes by my trafficker for no reason. And I didn't do anything. I just looked and I was quiet. I didn't know what to do. I was so helpless. When I come to the White House, people call me Honorable Harold D'Souza. But in real life, when you're a victim, they say, hey, illegal, come here. They call you illegal. And what happens? In my mind, I think I'm a criminal. What do you hope will be different 50 years from now? I am always working on that, how we can combat or stop human trafficking. So I think after 50 years, things should be different. We need to take care of our kids. We need to love them. And we need to see that they follow in the right track. You know, I always tell my kids, enjoy your life. But at the same breath, see what you can give back to the community. And if you can help somebody, why not? That when you save one victim, Catherine, you save one survivor. But when you prosecute one perpetrator, you are saving 100 victims. Catherine, you have played a very big role in my life. Delegates like you are like Mother Teresa for me. Mother Teresa always says, do not waste time judging people. Just love them. That's what you have done from day one. If one of your sons or your grandchildren are carrying a picture of you in their pockets, what would you be saying to them? Do not tell God how big the storm is in your life, but tell the storm how big the God is in your life. Believe in yourself and be happy. Thank you so much, Harold. These Voices of Freedom were recorded and produced by StoryCorps in partnership with the Office on Trafficking in Persons at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. For more information, visit acf.hhs.gov slash otip slash voices.